Hey friends, welcome to my kitchen. Uh, this is episode two of things I will no longer buy in the store in 2024. Uh, I noticed when I was going through the pantry that we are out of pancake mix. Womp womp. So I figured I'd jump on here and show you guys how I make pancake mix at home. Uh, I like making pancake mix at home because it's, uh, I know what ingredients that I'm putting into the mix. I'm cutting out all the extra preservatives um, and any additives that I do not want my family eating. So if that's something that you are going to be interested in, then come on in and join me. I'm going to start with the ingredients. It's five simple ingredients. You're going to need your flour, and I'm just using all purpose flour. You're going to need some sugar some salt, baking soda, and baking powder. That's it. Super simple and easy. So let me go ahead and grab my mix, mixing bowl here. And um, I got a whisk, because what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna incorporate all these ingredients together um, in a bowl and then whisk, whisk them all together where they're all nice and incorporated before you put your mix into whatever container you're going to store it in. Um, that way you know that you're not going to be um, getting flat pancakes or um, any inconsistency with your pancakes. So let's go ahead and start with flour. I'm going to go ahead and do four cups of flour. I'm going to take my shovel out of here. Oh, I think that's in here. My leveler. And we're going to do four cups of flour, so let's go ahead and level each one off. You got one, two, and I'm not packing it in here, three, oh. Try not to make a mess and spill it all over. <laughs> and four. <clears throat> so now that we got that in there, we're gonna go ahead and put my shovel back in there. Put that aside and then we're going to need <clears throat> three tablespoons of a sugar. Uh, I got this little measuring cup here. It goes up to a three tablespoons of sugar. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill it all the way up. And I'm going to sprinkle it in here in my mix. Okay. Then I'm going to need, I'm reading it off of my little recipe guide here. Then I'm going to need uh, two tablespoons of baking soda. Teaspoons, excuse me. Two teaspoons of baking soda. Go ahead and get a teaspoon. One. Two. And then one teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to need three tablespoons of baking powder. And this is what's going to make your um, pancakes nice and fluffy. One. Oops. Two. And three. So we're going to go ahead and set all those aside. And we're going to get our whisk and we're going to whisk this all together until the ingredients are well incorporated. What do you guys like on your pancakes? I'm a plain Jane when it comes to pancakes. I don't want, I don't like anything special. Just get me some, a little bit of uh, syrup and I'm good to go. 
Uh, every now and then I'll put some butter on it, but for the most part, I just like a good old maple syrup in the pancake. Uh, my husband likes putting peanut butter on his. My son loves doing the chocolate chip pancakes. Um, when they were younger, I used to do, I used to um, put fruit in their pancakes. Uh, like uh, blueberries and strawberries, uh, maybe raspberries. Uh, we did bananas once. All right, so now that I got it all nice and incorporated here, I'm making a mess, but I'm gonna show you guys, see? I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my container. Thinking of which, how can I do this without making a huge mess? I'm gonna go ahead and grab a spoon um, and then kind of guide this out of the pour spout here. I'm already making a mess. It's okay though. It's not fun if you don't make a mess, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little mix again because I did notice when I'm pouring the flour out that I did mix or miss mix miss. miss a spot and the you know how it kind of gets stuck to the bottom so I'm gonna just whisk, whisk it around in here and get that flower that was missed to the bottom there all right that's it that's simple and easy put your lid on it and you're good to go homemade pancake mix at home thanks for joining me today uh oh You'd like to know how to make pancakes with your homemade pancake mix, right? <laughs> uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to incorporate one cup of mix, one egg, one cup of milk. It's really simple. It's one, one, one. And then one tablespoon or a teaspoon or one tablespoon, excuse me, one tablespoon of uh, either butter, melted butter, or an oil. Uh, I usually use a melted butter. It kind of gives it a more of a buttery, I don't know, like a buttermilk texture to it uh, or taste to it. I should say not texture, but taste to it. So I usually use uh, one tablespoon of melted butter butter but you can use any any um, oil so like a vegetable oil um, I wouldn't use any high uh, heat oils because it might make it taste a little funny but anyway that's how you do it thanks for joining me in my kitchen today as we uh, episode two for things I will no longer buy at the store in 2024 you guys have a great evening and I'll see you next time Bye.